supplement to her talk. Mm -hmm. So it's yes, that's another that's another. But at the time, yeah, new thing. they they were. We, we had the vernacular language coming to be written just starting in 1917. And then people, for uh, you know, a couple thousand years, they had been stuck in this five and seven character poetry, mm -hmm. even though there was Sun Tzu also. Yes. But Chinese poets were searching for a new Beautiful. identity, yes. and mm -hmm. they, they got one. So mm -hmm. clearly it arrived somehow. And I think her argument is that this process of translating foreign languages, be it English or whatever, mm -hmm. into Chinese mm -hmm. was part of that shaping the new Chinese identity. Then how about just reading foreign poetry? Okay, but that, creating. but however, that does not, however, what you're saying is absolutely right. What you, she, you are doing is absolutely, yeah, absolutely right, her, but however, yeah. your, it does not answer or it does not, answer or how show her how to answer the a poet a translator is doing a better job than a translator just by that right i was arguing for a long time in china so i i i, I, I will get, give you some evidence later <laughs> i i i just want to answer your question about um, this this kind of topic i think he uh, should just uh, want to show another concept of translation. I think translation is just like understanding. Mm -hmm. And it's an act of violence, you know. It cannot be, uh, mm -hmm. nowadays a lot of people, a lot of scholars on translation, they want to regard translation as better or, or bad, mm -hmm. good or bad translation. Mm -hmm. But in fact, he, he, I think she wants to demonstrate a kind of process that because of this translation in, in, the, in the, uh, the early 20th century, this translation can shape shape the, the original one in China, the, the native kind of uh, poem. Mm -hmm. so, so I think, uh, I, I just want to ask you, I, you definitely are not going to show uh, did the poem is a good translator or not, right? <laughs> so you, you here, I think you just, uh, you can just uh, make a, a, a difference between the, the original poems, mm -hmm. between, uh, yeah. before the translation, what kind of poems they are, they are making. After the translation, what has changed during this mm. process? Yeah, that's that's yeah, a matter of way to do so. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I think so. Mm, thank you. You're uh, expressing yeah. myself. Mm -hmm. But then you shouldn't really consider that. That, that question. Good yeah. translator. Yeah. That yeah. question yeah. will then not you be should, okay, okay, okay. I don't like that. that. Specs. <laughs> okay. And another thing about your question is, we would assume that these these Chinese poets who are translating English poetry would be reading huge amounts of English poetry and only selecting mm -hmm. little, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, really good ones to translate. So uh, we would assume that the reading as well as the translating is having an influence on it. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Me so much inspiring. Oh, impressive. Inspiration. Okay. Inspiration. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. I think that the, uh, the comments and questions from the audience you know, have helped the two presenters uh, today a lot to clarify you know, some you know, not very clear issues uh, in, in their topics or in their subject. So uh, again, uh, thank you the presenters for two uh, excellent presentations and also thank you the audience for the comments. Uh, okay, thank you. I turned it off for you. Thank you. And I'm sorry, I didn't expect. <laughs>